G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. The gluten-free meal, best ever butter chicken with rice and veggies. Yeah, mo! Gluten-free. Now, my partner's gluten-free so I do eat a lot of gluten-free stuff and, well, she's gonna love this! Now it says on the side here, Succulent, fresh Aussie chicken pieces in our famous butter chicken sauce served with long grain rice, roasted pumpkin and broccoli. Well, that sounds all right. Although pumpkin? <laughs> Who would have thought pumpkin and butter chicken go together? Now this is 375 grams too, so it's a half decent sized meal. Now, I wonder how much chicken is actually in this. All right, well here it says, ingredient sauce 35%. Right, right. It's got yogurt, milk, and thickener, and ginger puree, yum. Butter, 1.2%. Oh, they cheat that so much. Rice is 33%, and chicken is 16%, with vegetables 16% as well. Now, the energy on this is 2300 kilojoules, which is 26% of your daily intake, which means you could eat about four of these every day and still have a body. Like the old grand guy. Proteins 5%, fats 7%, carbs is 15%, and salt, well, knowing my missus, she would be adding more salt to it, no matter how much salt was in it. Anyway, let's open it up and suss it out. Oh yeah! Okay. Oh wow, gee, that looks alright. There's the uh, rice there, and you see, sort of, the... Broccoli and pumpkin there with lots of sauce. Mm, that looks good. Right, how do we heat this? Well, you can either use the oven 180 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes. Nah, I think I'll use the microwave. Pierce the film three to four times, heat for six to seven minutes, and remove and allow to stand for two minutes. Well, that sounds easy. I think I'll just do the old peel the corner trick though. Right, to the microwave. I think I'll go the seven minute option rather than the six. Cause that's the way I roll. All right, well, here it is. And I gotta say, this kitchen smells really nice. So you can really see here, this rice here looks really nice and fluffy. Uh, a little bit of liquid there underneath though. Uh, that must be the roast pumpkin, not too much broccoli, and I don't know what this piece of chicken is, but it looks a bit fatty, but hey, we don't know. But here's some of the chunks of chicken there too. Oh, it's looking alright. Does it look anything like this picture? I don't think so. It certainly doesn't look the best ever, but it might taste it. Okie dokie. Let's go. That was that piece of fat. No, I think it's fat. It's dissolving between my teeth, so maybe it wasn't. Wasn't much flavour in that bite, so let's take a bigger one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's not a lot of flavour in there, and as far as a, a butter chicken goes, it, it doesn't have that real great flavour of butter chicken. It is sort of warming the back of my throat, though, like there's some chilli in there. It's not too strong, but there's definitely some warmth going down there. And I'm not talking about the heat either of that, I'm talking about the heat of a chilli. It's a little bit bland. It's all right tasting, but best ever, mate. That is a big claim. And <laughs> one thing that this meal should not be claiming is that it's the best ever, because it isn't. I've had way better than this one. This one is average at best. Hmm. Yeah, the flavour of it, it's, it's just not doing it for me. What about this pumpkin? 
Oh, wow, these pumpkins, <laughs> when I had it, it's kind of like a grape. You put it in your mouth, it's got the texture of a grape, but it's got absolutely no flavor. I really am trying to find some flavor in this sauce. Mm. There's some there, but right. it's not very good. The butter chicken sauce barely tastes like a butter chicken and well, it is kind of got a watered down flavor and mixed with this watery rice, mate, <laughs> with the watery butter chicken and the watery rice, mate, it feels like it's raining in my mouth. If the weather's hot enough, you might want to go for a swim inside this container. Now, like all butter chicken meals, I love to add a little bit more butter because, well, 1.2%, mate, that's never going to be enough. Let's boost that up to 1.4%. Okay. Creamier, but still not good enough. Let me add some salt. Saltier but just not good enough. So my opinion of this is that the gluten-free best ever butter chicken isn't the best ever. It's actually pretty bland. It does taste all right, but it doesn't taste great. There are plenty of other butter chickens out there that are better than this one. So what's my recommendation? Well, I mean, uh, just search the back of a butter chicken container and see if it contains gluten. I'm pretty sure most of them don't, but uh, this one here, well, if I was to have a top 10 of butter chickens I've had, this wouldn't be in it. I mean, it tastes okay, but it's definitely not the best ever. In fact, it can't even crack the top 10, so. But there you go, there's the gluten-free best ever butter chicken. I won't be getting it again, but look, if you're gluten-free and you're desperate for a butter chicken, hey, Jump on in and grab one. You might enjoy it. But uh, I'm just thankful that I'm not a celiac. So I don't have to sit through this for meals every night. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll review a product. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are